here we are on the train to Clues, where we should be taking off, or whatever it is trains do in about 10 minutes. It's a pretty nice train, we'll see how fast it moves, and it should be about three hours from Oradea to Cluj. Just came by checking tickets, so we got nervous because we're not in the right seats. And she just went, eh, forget about it. And, uh, just kept walking. So that was great. <laughs> we made it! Yay! That was easy. That was really easy. We were on the train for two and a half hours. Did we make it in on time? I think we did. I think yeah, everything ran yeah. completely on time. We left like literally on the minute it said we would leave and I think we got in exactly when it said we would. Now we're in Cluj. We're going to call a bolt car and head to our Airbnb and then probably go out and get some dinner. Yay! Hi! Welcome to our home in Cluj. This is the kitchen. We've got a full refrigerator, freezer. Ooh, the lights make noise. That's fun. Sink. Washing machine in the kitchen. Hot water kettle. Coffee maker. Gotta love that. With coffee. Oh, what a nice gift. Spumante. Spumante. It's, it's Prosecco. Wow. Thank you, Anka. What a nice house. All the things you could possibly need in the kitchen, including a juicer. And then we've got a full four burner range and an oven, and if it's gas, we know how to use those now. Yay! Here is the bathroom. Got a tub. That's the thing in Romania. There are bathtubs, usually no curtain, and then no, well, actually, this is a nice change. You can actually put the thing in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do it like that. Normally, you just have to hold it while you're showering, and that's probably what we'll do here, too. A very involved water heater, sink, toilet, what more could we need? And this is a two bedroom Airbnb. This is the first bedroom. We'll just use this as a day bed and place to hang out and read or whatever. Nice little couch. I like this big window. Lots of great natural light. Again with the windows that open two ways. So fun. Very old TV, probably won't be using that. This is a fun little built-in, and there's drying racks. Oh we definitely God. need to do some laundry, so this will be the laundry room. <laughs> and here's the second bedroom. Nice big bed for us. Nice to hang up our clothes, some hangers, extra bed sheets, and we have a balcony. This is our balcony. We're on what appears to be one of the main roads in Cluj. There's a lot of traffic, but well, we'll see how it is at night. Maybe it'll be noisy, but we're in a really good area. Very close to the center of town. Unfortunately, our host couldn't meet us here to give us the keys, so she said that she left them under the flower pot by the front door. But when we got here, there was no flower pot. And then I called her, and a minute later, a man was carrying the flower pot and the key, and he came out front, and then he just gave them to us. <laughs> but she said she didn't know who he was. We have no idea, but we got in. But otherwise, our host is super nice and we're very excited to be here in Cluj and start exploring. Let's go. As we're walking to find some food, we came upon this color run. Here is the color green. We're just right behind our house and there is this big old wall and all these cute wiener dogs. We found blue. We're here at a restaurant called Garlic. It's pretty nearby our house and it's very cute in this area. Other people have these too, it's not just us. <laughs> these but menus are really fun. No crayons. No crayons. They didn't give us any crayons and I was getting hungry. How's yours? It's fruity, you know, peachy. It's the first time we're drinking in a while. We took the month of August off. I don't know why we're drinking again, but it seems like a good idea right now. We'll see how we go. Yeah, defend up gargoyles, psych yeah. vampires. There's a mobile blood donation place here in Cluj. I mean, like, I get it we're in Transylvania, like the whole Dracula thing, but come on, guys. Be professional. Act like you've been there before.
upon the National Opera. And across the street, there's a market and a statue of some guy and the old church. We had a little wander into the church and there was a service going on. The music was really beautiful. The ceilings are super high, so the sound just carried. And if you have a chance when you're in Romania to go into churches, which <laughs> you will, there are quite a few, um, just go in and see if you can catch a service. I like to get earrings when we travel, so we came across this man. He and his wife have this jewelry business. He makes the boxes that the jewelry comes in and she makes embroidery, and then they turn that into jewelry. So these earrings were the smallest embroidery that she makes. They're super teeny tiny. He had us look through a magnifying glass to see all the details. The symbol means the North Star and we thought that was also pretty appropriate as travelers. So earlier this evening we saw a pyramid and we were like we're gonna find this pyramid. So we've been looking for it for probably an hour. We just found the pyramid and what is it Steve-O? It's just the side of a church. The side of a church. But we did have a fun time finding it. We did and now we're gonna go find some gelato. I think that'll be easier to find. Hopefully. This is a cool model of the city of Cluj. A lot of the landmarks that we've taken you around are on here. And right now we're standing in front of St. Michael's Church, which is right here. We learned that if you donate blood, then you get a free ticket to the first day of the Untold Festival. And this line is so long. How cool is this? People really want to go to this festival. And we just came over here because it's Sunday morning. Most places are closed. And we found a cafe that was closed. And the guy said that we should come over here to Olivio. Across the street from coffee, we just picked up some bread items from this little place. Now we're gonna head back to the apartment and eat them and drink our coffee. We put our regular coffee in our fancy coffee. Oh yes, yeah, so we got more coffee because we figured why not. We found the pyramid. Welcome to our breakfast mukbang. It's only three things. Yeah, it's not really a mukbang, but we're gonna eat some breakfast and do a little story time. So we kind of just left you last night, our first night in Cluj without an ending. So we went and found this fancy gelato and Prosecco place. And we decided, well, hey, you know, we like ice cream and booze. So we got there and the owner, the nicest guy, there were 12 flavors. He explained every single one of them. They were all homemade by the chef who used to be a Mich or who is a Michelin star chef. We got to try pretty much every flavor. He suggests that we try the ice cream with Prosecco and we said, sure, why not? <laughs> they really did go together well. Ice cream and booze, who would have thought? And like, what a genius business idea. Yeah. <laughs> so we went inside and uh, a couple of his friends were there and we ended up just talking and he kept pouring Prosecco and <laughs> hanging out. We talked all about travel, Romania. We just had the nicest time and it's just a reminder of why we love travel and being on the road. That chance to, to meet strangers again and see how other people live and learn about their lives. And that's one of the big reasons we like to travel and so it was just cool to have that feeling again. If you come to Cluj and you like ice cream, Definitely check out Finesse. Tell Daniel we said hi. And now we're gonna F up some corporate. We keep going to these little bread shops to get breakfast because it's just an easy, easy way to get some yummy food. And these uh, these are always just long bread wrap, not at all phallic shape. These bread wieners are pretty tasty. <laughs> these bread wieners, they always have different things inside. Full of cheesy wiener goodness. The guy said this was a spicy sausage. With cheese. Nothing is ever really spicy when they say it is. No. Is this white people spicy? Maybe it is. Huh. Yeah, but it's good. So this one is drastically different from the first one. The first one was cheese wrapped around meat. And as you can see here, this is meat wrapped around cheese. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. entirely different recipe. If you ever need a snack or breakfast, these kinds of places are everywhere in Romania. Well, they're everywhere. And these were like a buck. Yeah, I think but these were three fifty each, so less than a dollar. Less than a dollar for a great little snack or a meal. Yeah, and they're filling. I have no idea what this is. Well, it looks like chocolate. It might be chocolate. Good it chance might, it's blueberries. It might be blueberries. A blueberry. Oh, we're gonna enjoy this and then we'll head out and explore Cluj. Stop watching us eat. You're weird. You weirdos. Loving this wraparound balcony moment. Piatu Uniri means the city square, so you'll find a Piazza Uniri in pretty much every city that you visit in Romania. 
Uh, this is a very happening place. As you can see, there are lots of cafes and restaurants and places that you can go to sit down and people watch. It's a great place to do that. The most famous spot here in Piazza Uneri is behind me. This is St. Michael's Church, and it's the second largest church in all of Transylvania. St. Michael's Church was completed in 1487, and it's changed denominations five times since then, and right now it is a Roman Catholic church. As you can see, it's under construction. They're working on the bell tower. It looks like a giant bottle. In front of St. Michael's Church, you can see the statue of King Matthias Cornovus. He was a famous king from the 15th century. He was born here in Cluj, but he was the king of Hungary and Croatia, and his birthplace is just nearby. We just walked through the Museum of History of Transylvania and it was pretty interesting. It took us about a half an hour to get through it. All the displays were in Romanian, but they had QR codes that you could scan and they would give you the, uh, the English word. Yeah, so that was really cool. So we got to actually learn a lot, uh, a lot about the history of this region and all the different rulers and powers that came through at different times during history, dating very far back. Um, some cool old artifacts and interesting things about war and Tickets are normally 10 ron, but for whatever reason, when we went to pay, the woman said it was free. So we went in for free, which was even cooler. So I'm not sure if that was because it's a Sunday or a special day or something. It's because we're cute. <laughs> That's probably why. That's probably why. Yeah, but if you like history, go check it out. We just got our drinks and she also gave us some free shots. Sivo's flavor is grapes and mine is sour cherry. I think they give women sour cherry and men grapes typically. And she said we drink it after our meal. Yeah, I think we should put some food in us first. This is the beef tripe soup. It's called chorba de berta and it's supposed to be one of the must try dishes here in Romania. So tripe is intestines, and they're actually quite delicious in this soup. I'm not normally a big fan, but when in Romania, I figured I would try it. And Sifo got... Ta-da! Bean soup. The musical fruit. This is this looks amazing. In a bread bowl. I'm gonna try some bowl. Wow, it's a big hunk of meat. I have no idea what animal that is, but it is delicious. And then mine came with cream and this pepper and bread, and I learned how to eat it, so this is how you're supposed to eat. So I asked some of our Romanian friends last night, and they told me step one is you take a bite of bread, and then step two, bite of soup, and then step three, also with your left hand, bite of chili. So it's left hand, right hand, left hand. And that's the Romanian way to eat your soup. Alright, Steve is about to try the toika. It's like a shot, but he's gonna do half so I can try that flavor too. We have a chaser for him here. It smells so strong. What does it smell like? Grain alcohol. I think it is grain alcohol. Oh good. Alright, well, that off. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm gonna try that one too. treasure box but instead of treasure inside it's a bill so people are wondering if you leave a tip in Romania you're supposed to leave anywhere from five to ten percent so this meal is 61 so we're leaving six Ron as tip is it there? I think it's up here. Oh yeah yeah now we're gonna take a walk up this hill to see this old fortress and get a good view of the city from up high
Piazza Uniri. There is the Banfi Palace building, which is now the Art Museum of Cluj. As you can see, there's lots of cool decoration on the building. This building is an example of Baroque-style architecture and one of the best examples here in Transylvania. The building was built in 1774 and 1775, making it older than America. Hello. Fun Romania fact, the exterior of this church was based on the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, Turkey. This is the opera house here in Cluj. It was built by an Austrian architect who wanted it to be as beautiful as the opera houses in Vienna. And it is, it's very pretty. They have shows going on all the time, so come see a play or an opera or a ballet and be fancy. Back in old medieval Game of Thrones times, it wasn't only soldiers and knights that would protect the cities. It was also local craftsmen. Behind me here is the Tailor's Bastion, which is where all of the tailors of the city would group together and fight off any offending hordes with needle and thread, I assume. So they would stand up on top of these walls here and uh, make sure that everybody got to stay alive. And now we are going to a craft beer bar place <laughs> that we saw last night. Um, I'm gonna get some craft beer. gonna go get ourselves some coffee and then go see the botanical gardens and then we are going to get on a train and head to see view so it's gonna be a great day let's get going seven hours on a train Toot -toot! Train station, about to head to Sibiu. That's our train. Yay! definitely a city we could have stayed a couple more days in. There's so much to do that we didn't even get to, but I feel like we did a lot in our short time here. We met some really awesome people and saw a lot of things, had a lot of fun. Goodbye Cluj, we'll see you again next time. Now we'll go on the train to Seaview. It should be about seven hours to get there. So we will see you later. Turns out the pyramid is just the friends we make along the way. There you go. It turns out, the pyramid was the friends we made along the way. Yeah.